Welcome to Ken's Bolt-On Grab Hooks, Bolt-On Hooks LLC and GreenTractorTalk.com. We're going to demonstrate the new hydraulic uh, pressure test gauge we're going to be selling. It comes with a 24 to 30 inch hose, quarter inch with a coupler of your choice to hook up to your tractor, a 0 to 5,000 uh, PSI liquid filled gauge. We use this to test the, uh, the pressure relief valve or PRV setting of the tractors to, uh, as a maintenance thing and in case you notice that it's not lifting enough as it used to. Sometimes the relief valves, uh, the springs in them get weak. Um, you can use them to check after doing your uh, hydraulic fluid service to make sure all the air is out of the system, make sure you're building up full pressure. It's, uh, it's kind of a niche tool. It's not really required by the average guy. but. Some guys like to know what's going on and there's been a lot of talk about them so uh, I figured I'd start offering these uh, ready to go. These can ship in a small flat rate box because of the super flexible hose that, that we provide on them. Uh, so shipping's fairly inexpensive on it. So we're going to demonstrate how to use it. First thing we're going to do is run the machine to a normal operating temperature. We want the hydraulic fluid to be warmed up. We're going to park the machine safely Park and brake, chalk the wheels, the whole nine yards there, safety uh, utmost concern. We're going to disconnect our loader ports. Uh, in this case, we're going to use the black port. Wipe out the, always wipe these out, wipe this off before you plug anything in, the loader too. You don't want to introduce any contaminants uh, into the hydraulic system or cut the little O-rings in there. So we'll connect the gauge up while the tractor's off, of course. Give it a tug, make sure it's, uh, it's fully seated and connected. So we'll hold the gauge. Uh, if you're working on the other side of the machine or whatever, you can, uh, you can Velcro it or tie it on somewhere. In this case, we'll just hold it. So what we're gonna do is start the machine up at idle. We'll bump the idle up just a little bit. We'll operate the lever. We'll use the dump position, which is the port that I'm plugged into. We'll read the readout on the gauge, and you'll hear the, the tractor lug, lug down a little bit because we're deadheading the hydraulic system. The fluid's trying to go out this port into this gauge. It's got no place to go. So the, uh, the engine's going to lug down a little bit, and while that's happening, the pressure relief valve is opening, and it's dumping the excess pressure over about 2,500 pounds back to the tank. Um, if that pressure relief valve failed to operate, the hydraulic pump would continue to build pressure until something blows up. So that's the importance of the pressure relief valve. Okay, so after we have our gauge all hooked up, we're going to start the machine up. Another uh, important thing to know is that you don't want to hold the joystick over into that relief position when the fluid has no place to go for longer than about 30 seconds because the fluid is being forced to a very tiny orifice in the uh, hydraulic system and it, be becomes, it can become overheated very quickly when that's happening. So only, only uh, check the pressure for short bursts like I was doing in the video there. So after we know that our system's in good shape, we have good readings, we're right around 2,500 pounds. I think the book calls for right around 20, 2450 on this particular machine. So we're, you know, within 10% of that. That's, that's fabulous reading. The machine's nice and healthy. It's brand new. Um, we're going to go ahead and disconnect the gauge. So operate the joystick just as you would uh, remove your loader in all directions. And before you unplug the valve, have your rag handy to catch the residual fluid. install your cap back on or in this case we'll reconnect the loader lines here in a few minutes. But thank you very much for viewing the video on the uh, new hydraulic pressure gauge.